Wait, wait, I just need a little time to figure this out. I think it was Titus. I th it was Classier. It was Ruby. It was me. It was someone else. Someone who's not here now. Shit. Oh, that's a rough... That's a rough check. You want us to choose between these options? I'm feeling like a bitch right now. I'm like, number one. <laughs> it couldn't have been anyone at the Whirling because there was no gunshot. It had to be someone further away yeah. who isn't here now. Okay. How fucking convenient. He gives you a drunken stare, then puts his hand on the gun. His fingers are twitching. That's a draw reflex. He's about to draw. He was shot from a great distance. A sniper did it. A lot of people could have gone to the roof, like Gart, the cafeteria manager, <laughs> who's watching from up here. <laughs> Gart's out here enjoying the show. Everybody looks at each other like, Gart did yeah, it! it was Gart! Gart it was Gart! Gart did it! <laughs> Get him! <laughs> I heard him say something about a cock carousel! <laughs> he holds up the bird. <laughs> Just like oh, petting it, like... <laughs> Actually, they are here. Point to the enemy. It was one of you. Mm. I've changed my mind. I can still change my mind, right? See? <sighs> a sniper. Think I'm fucking stupid, cop? What if I just shot one of your pals here right now, huh? There's a dangerous gleam in his eye. In his How eye. about the kit? Tell me, magic fucking sniper, one more time. Listen, please. This cop and this drumhead cop marshal won't decide who. She raises both hands. Logic, high, seventy-two percent. Why doesn't he believe me? Oh my god. Oh, this is scary. The Hardy Boys confessed to hanging him all together. Titus said we took him out back and hanged him. He said it loud in a public place. But wait, they didn't confess. Listen, he was shot. He wasn't hanged. Listen to me. You're lying. DePaul heard it. He doesn't move the weapon. You heard wrong. She and these men have been helping us find the shooter. The hanging was only a cover-up. Listen. When they, when they confessed, they were lying. The gardener isn't even one of them. Fuck. Bias. He pulls the trigger. A plume of smoke erupts from the muzzle of his gun. The shot rings in your ears. A low tinny ring. Then the Hardy Boys yell something. Fucking crazies, man. The young woman stands and looks behind her. The shot has flown over her head, crashing a small pane of the glass window behind her. I missed. The man looks at his revolver and smiles. I know what I heard, Corti. They said they killed him. They said it was a good way to end a Sunday night. That doesn't sound good. You need to change the topic now. Okay. Or there will be another shot. And we have exhausted our two non-red check conversation points. Okay. I am not going to go down this one. I'm going straight to the roll. Okay, so three before two, you're saying? This is what I'm feeling. Okay. 
I don't have a reason to go against it at the moment. Has anything changed? Got them arguing. Okay. Actually, this has changed. Yes, it has. Higher percentage than before. This one's the same. This has gotten better. Got them arguing, yes. Okay, so we actually are getting things out of this. Yes, hold on. It's trending towards improvement if we're following what what the yeah. game has shown us we so far. We did pass the logic red check, and Liz is still standing. Yeah. Although that is, by my by, by all accounts, that warning shot is a failure, right? And if you, <laughs> if someone <laughs> fires, yep, and you don't, like, you you fucked up. Yeah. Because that's the point. The point has passed. You know, it, like movies and fiction and whatever a bullet has been fired it's over um, negotiations have failed we're act we're acting you know you think i care what that company cunt thinks <laughs> he laughs it's a hollow laughter while well, pines is not going to forgive you massacring a bunch of innocent people she's going to be mad when she hears about this The man stares at you with bloodshot eyes, a bull ready to charge. He's not listening, but looking for an opening. Now is not a good time to strike. He's looking right at your hands. Do something else. Get him distracted. Fucking waste this fuck! The woman squawks. Ignore her. She's not the main threat yet. And that conversation option is gone. Now we're into the the main part of the battle. All right. 92%. We have failed, I think, two of those in the past. We have. <laughs> Three if you can't doke upon. Oh, my God. Talk about the hanged man. Think of an argument. Take the shot. Let's go on 92. Okay. All right. Here we go. This is an illegal tribunal. Krenno would never sanction this. Who's the commanding officer? Take your pick. You only have time for one argument. Choose wisely. Just a question. Who's in charge of your unit after the death of your colonel? Colonel does not give you the right to conduct a tribunal. You were called Downwell once. What happened? Gulp would say nothing. <sighs> what always happens when you get good at your job? That name meant night raids. Fucking extrajudicial funky time. Burned villages. Shit. It sounds bad on the radio. The same thing happened when we were called whatever the fuck it was. Probably won't be called Cronell for much longer either. He looks around. Not after this shit. Okay, it's not much. But he's thinking about something else. And his hand is off the gun. This did something. And that was one question. And we were out. Mm-hmm. 58%. Got him talking. 83. Talk about the hangman. Dangerous. Quit. Ask about him first. You don't want personal facts about his dead friend coming out of your mouth. He has to start it. I knew you were the goddamn scab leader. Who are you? Cordy? Sergeant Major Raoul Cortner. <laughs> reporting in to burn this fucking mud hut to the ground. He points at the whirling in rags. So, one plus one is related to the hangman. He clearly is stirred in his emotions right now, right? As he moves, the interlocking pieces of his armor click softly. What's his full name? He's Raoul Cartenau. Yes. The hangman was Ellie. Ellie. Uh, Lely, or Ellis. 
Cortenaire, right? Alice Cortenaire, no? <laughs> yes, yes. Okay. 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 Was, so there, was, there, was there a middle name? Uh, no, but they called him Lely. Okay. That was it, yeah. As he moves, the interlocking pieces of his armor click softly. Click, click, click. The realization comes to you like a picture puzzle coming together. There you go. His name is Raoul Brother. Cortenar. The dead man's name is Elise Cortenar. He's brothers with the deceased. For killing, maiming, and humiliating our commanding officer, you're all sentenced to death by lead. Cortenar. I know that name. His parents left him in a fucking leaf compactor. Listen, you're Lely. Everyone says good things about him. He was a talker. Benetial, 41. That really happened, didn't it? He had blue eyes, didn't he? Your colonel. The colonel didn't deserve to go out like that, I promise. I'll find his killer. Conclude. Okay. Our colonel did what he had to do. It was either one cunt or a hundred of them. Rude here. He points to him. In your ship pipes, right in the fire. In the sapphire mumbling. He likes to fire mortars at random coordinates. Wipe out mud huts like that. When he gets bored, Lely knew how to command. He was a good commander. I can see you miss him. Oh yeah. He would have commanded this fuck hell way better than I did. That didn't happen. Because hey, see Bill and Kipty the Kipt here. He points to Titus and Eugene. Fucking murdered him. Had him stink the village up for two weeks after. And you fucks did nothing. He points at you. Listen, man. We told you we... Told us what? What did you say? Who said that? Tattoo fuck. You'll die first. He staggers forward. Who? Lely. Yes, when he was small, just an infant. We researched him. We contacted the ICP and looked at his birth records. That was in there. Another th He's not gonna like that. Nope. They fucking put Lely in a leaf compactor. And now these cunts finished the job. He waves at the gang huddled by the doors. But we're still in a success check. Mm-hmm. Yep. Thank God we have that to hang on and to. And that's what I'm keeping in mind. Yeah. With his real anguish in his voice, a drunken sadness suddenly engulfs him. Memories. Oh, okay, we can get him by the feels. It's a mind fuck, Corti. He wasn't put in a leaf compactor. They're making it up to fuck with us. Major permission to. Open fire. We can't have that. Interfere now. Where are you going? He had blue eyes, didn't he? Your colonel. So you're gonna finish with one or three? Um. I would go. I'm going one. One. Make the brother connection. Yeah. Then this. One five three is what I would one, do. One five three. Yeah. He sways from left to right, inspecting you. Raul and Ellis Cotanier. Look him in the eye. I'm sorry about your brother, Raul. He wasn't my fucking brother. We just grew up on the same farm and got beat into place by the same sick fuck. And then went to the same military academy and the same unit. And the same war. You were foster brothers, I know that. You don't know shit. Lance Corporal, why don't you? He turns to the radio officer on this right. You lost him. Quick, don't let him finish the sentence. Oh, damn. Baby Blue, yeah. Like someone fucked up and put a baby's eyes on a grown man. He smiles, pulling his face in a strange way. It was creepy, but bitches, bitches like that shit, I guess. Or, I don't know what bitches like. I just know how to mow down 
clock. Listen, you're Lely. Everyone says good things about him. He was a talker. What the fuck do you mean, talker? We've heard testimony. People say he was charismatic, a nice guy to be around. Yeah, he liked to chat up the natives, share leaflets, squeeze a bit of kit tass here and there. Great fucking idea that turned out to be. He points toward the, war the yard. If Lely was here, he would spare the lot of you. Maybe shoot one for sure. But me, I'm not a big fan of public affairs, Clay Monkey. I'll gun every one of you down for what you did. Ready to open fire, Major. At your command. Your brother did not deserve to go out like that. I promise I'll find his killer. Find his killer? Cop. His killer stands right there, shitting his pants, and you're standing in the way, protecting them. I know what this tactic is, Silo Sam. You're gonna die for them, right here, today. He stares at you, eyes pink from the alcohol, fingers tapping the pistol. Big talk, but that leaf compactor won't leave his mind anytime soon. It's a small thing, but it got him off center. Hand-eye coordination, legendary 14, shoot Cortenar, went up to 83%, distracted by memories, figured out the armor, got them arguing, got him talking, he's thinking of the Leaf Compactor, got him doubting his leadership. Our EG system, take the shot. Ikimasu. A plume of smoke and fire erupts from the gun, and your hand goes numb from the explosion. Look through the smoke rising from the barrel. Look at him. There's a hole in his cheek. Blood gushes as he stumbles backward, eyes filled with rage and disbelief, gurgling, muttering something unintelligible. His lips moving, swollen with fear are trying to say, shoot him, shoot him, but he can't. To your right, the killer raises his rifle and takes aim at you. His moves are steady, but the long barrel of the rifle sways slowly. An Easter ARFA-7, built for taking out light armored vehicles, it will devastate you. Kim, where is Kim? Blink, think, dodge the shot, reaction, reaction speed. speed, 42%. No time to do anything. Or is this another moment of get information and then act? I'm just gonna do it. Well, you're just, you're not even gonna try to see, you think it's not like bullet time mode? You're gonna take the shot. I feel as if explo like you know what it's you know what it, at, whenever I thought it was because I always look at these moments of like these are like not what you should be thinking of you know. Okay. I think I, I consider that like it's like in this moment the moment you take a mo you had any these are hesitations and then I go this is just doing the next the next best thing. Do you see do you think do you think do you see it differently? You see it as this is information and then this will help improve this? Well, I... I'm thinking that it won't lower the percentage of us dodging the shot. Okay. Okay. So far, it's only... You're right. So far, it's improved. But I'm just... It always has that, that like, little, like, oh, you know, don't get distracted kind of moment. In a moment like now. Yeah. Where I'm just like, don't get distracted. You know, that's that's where my brain goes. Oh, no, that's, that's From fair. the corner of your eye, you see the lieutenant raise his pistol and aim it at Rude. He's trying to find a straight line of sight before the rifleman can take you out. In the background, the leader staggers. And I have one bullet. It's not easy. He has 0 0.6 seconds to do so. He won't make it. You're on your own. If you blink... 
and think what will happen. I don't know. Alpha 3 told me not to blink. <laughs> Nobody blink. Yo. <laughs> you stared down the barrel of the gun. You see Rude's mask behind it. His eyes in the slit of the helmet. Like a camera lens. Focusing on you. God, you're so frail. Too frail to think further. Time is running out. Okay. I'm going to take that assumption and discard it. Okay. I'm going to treat non-quotation moments as just information and... Yeah, quotation means that it's set, right? That's time passing. You have okay. to say it out loud when it's quotation. Exactly. All right. And I know the game's been doing it the entire time, but like, I I just, I, I would expect, a, anyway, you, you understand. While you're thinking, I'm suffering at the prospect of doing this check. Even 42%, let's fucking go. A low shot rings. You feel a tapping like rain on your chest plate. Armor. Heavy drops of rain. Please. Then the sound of dice rolling as the cuirass distributes the shot. Beautiful. From plate to plate. You got hit. The armor took most of it, but still your ribcage burns. Feels like blood is slowly seeping into your lungs. Kim does not have armor. God, please. The lieutenant says quietly, without trembling, he aims, face pale. He's aiming for the eye slot in Rude's only helmet. spot. An extremely difficult shot. Ridiculous. He was 7 out of 10 on his shooting tests, Wooly. Roll the fucking dice. Two shots ring at once. One from the lieutenant's pistol, and the other from the ball. Oh, he nailed it's it! Aimed at the lieutenant, but the ball it misses. You hear a scream behind you. Oh, Al Ghul, thank you. Kim, did he hit the rifleman? Liz. She didn't run away. Everyone else did. But it, she missed a shot. Liz is still there. Nobody's shot, right? Except for the bad people. Blood gushes from the helmet's eye sockets as Rude staggers back, disoriented. The sounds coming from his helmet are not human. An unbelievable shot from the lieutenant. Right? Fucking insane. Who screamed? Glenn. Dying. Fuck! A of blood behind you. His mangled torso has two gunshot wounds. Blood gushes out of them like red geezers. Oh, wow. She was right there, but it passed. Oh, God. Watch out! You see two crazed eyes stare at you through all the smoke and the panic. With blood gushing from his face, the man raises his pistol at you. Then... He squeezes the trigger. Look him in the eye. Impossible 20. Evade the shot. Let it happen. The look of vengeance, framed in blood, lips shaking. This is the last thing he'll do on Earth. But he will do it. He is your end. Here it comes. Death. You can't. There is no time. Something inside your pelvis explodes. Your entire lower body is on fire and your legs can't support you. You fall down like a ragdoll. Inevitably failed. The pain is too immense to scream. It pushes the air out of your lungs. Everything goes dark. A distant blur as you recede into it. Listen through the darkness and the pain. The Hardy Boys are screaming, fighting, dying. Someone jumps over you. Nearby gunfire shatters glass. Stop! The cop! Protect the cop! He's down! Touch your lower body. Feels slick and warm with blood. 
The pain is too strong to know what has happened there. Even clutching to your consciousness takes everything you've got. What parts of me are missing? Most of what's down there. Oh God. It's all gone. Open your eyes now. You have to see what's happening. No, no. It's just a fear. Even if... Who cares? No one wants you anyway. What do I see? Nothing. A persisting darkness. Dancing lights of pain. Distant shadows cast by them. Like a hellish play. You're bleeding out. Out of it, a silhouette appears, crouching over you. You hear a familiar voice filled with urgency and fear. No one wants to do anything with me. No one wants to party with me. The wolf is at the door, Kim. He will eat the sun. Live fast, die old. Kim, I lied about not remembering who I am. I made it up. I remember everything. There's a white shadow. It smells like apricots. It's always there. Stay with me. You feel burning hot tears streaming from your eyes. I'm a fucking failure, and the love of my life left me. Everyone knows I made it up. I'm just a drunk. A stupid, dead drunk. Yes, keep talking. You hear me? Stay awake. The lieutenant pushes down on your wound hard. But you can't. It's so hard. Your eyelids grow heavy and the sounds ever more distant, and a cold comes over you. The lieutenant, too, is somewhere far away, almost gone, when suddenly you sense something behind him, a slender white shadow towering. Someone stands there, raising her pistol at him. The lieutenant does not see it. He's pushing down on your wound with both hands, Scream immediately. He's gonna die. No, Kim. No, you say, and hand out your firearm to him. Your hand trembles, and your eyes are full of fear. That's all it takes. There is no room for hesitation. The lieutenant moves like a spring unloaded. He grabs the gun from your bloody hand and fires behind him. You hear a faint scream, a woman's. Then the sound disappears, like someone pressed stop on the tape. The woman is gone. So is Kim. Then the whole world. Fall into total darkness. This is death. One more door, baby. One more door. Will I be a ghost now? Good, I wanna die. No. Let me back into the fight. The fight? There is no fight. The fight is over. It was lost a thousand years ago. You have laid here forever. Keep falling deeper. Take the door. He's not taking it. His body is not taking it. Oh, God, no. He's not disintegrating. He's swelling up instead. Over the hours. Hurting. Moaning in his sleep. And rotting. And being disinfected. And smelling of drugs. And feeling saliva in his mouth. Drifting in painkillers, thrashing in his old sleep. He can't go, not before the case is solved. Hell yeah. There was a radio in the distance, a radio of the world, plain sounds. Good morning, Elysium. Soon you will return to the world. Hours turned 
today. Soon we will get up again and go through it again, again. Finally, we know what the infernal engine was outside. The Clarion Core. The engine of a Caprice Kinema. No, it was him. He is the infernal engine. Can't you see? He never stops. He only gets... Good read. One becoming the other. You see the lieutenant's familiar shape in the orange jacket. It turns double, then triple from the pain. You're in his room. Kim. Sunrise, Arabellon. The lieutenant says he's in the middle of a freshly cleaned room with a fan above his head like a halo. His face is covered in bruises. Ouch. The room. It's clean. What did you say? Sunrise? What happened? How bad am I hurt? Sunrise, Arabellon. Sunrise, prepare for war. It's an old revolutionary thing. Mm. Isn't that written on you? My gun. It's engraved on it. It served you well. Is it war today? The gates of the harbor are boarded up. The streets are a little more empty. Apocalyptic violence is yet to erupt, I am relieved to say. He looks out the window. I think we may have held it off for now. He unzips his bomber jacket. Good. A pity. Ouch. Yes, we have also completely failed, but that's okay. Oh, clean clean room. room. It's clean. Mr. Gart cleaned it. It took him an entire day. How long have I been out? Two days, in and out. You've been up enough to take Dwamin and curse and drink water. Oh. It's not ouch time yet. You just got the Dwamin pill an hour ago. Wait until it wears off. Dwamin, then it's not that bad. Neither surgical nor organ damage bad, but still under the counter bad. What happened? What happened? You shot the Major in the face. A firefight ensued. Is he dead? Yes. A bloodstained killer. <laughs> I warned them. I warned them! <laughs> <laughs> this is what you get when you let your son play with killers? Ow! That you did. The lieutenant looks at you with a peculiar expression. He then continues. Man of his word. This killer of killers. As retaliation, the rifleman tried shooting you. He hit the cuirass. I heard it go off. I was looking for a clear line of sight to him. I shot and wounded him. While Glenn took a bullet in the spine. It was meant for me. He did not survive. There's a pause. Titus, Fat Angus and Theo charged. Angus and Theo did not make it. They both died before they made it to intensive care. Titus survives. So do Alain and the musician. Oh my god. Chubby and Theo, the old man. Eugene? Yes. <sighs> He's still alive too. Mm -hmm. You were bleeding out by then. I think you said you lied about being an amnesiac, and you warned me. I was able to disarm one of them, the pole, before she got the jump on me. Thank you. I killed her. And that's what happened. The lieutenant takes a cigarette from his coat pocket and lights it. A bitter smell fills the room. It wasn't Esprit that spoke up at that moment, was it? At the moment of the I don't the think shot? it was. No, I don't think it was either. Okay. I thought you only smoked one a day. Um, they're all dead. All three of the contractors. This is the one. 
how many casualties on the Union side total? The pole was the last today. Everhart had their bodies returned to Connell for a funeral. The company is yet to retaliate. Why? Because we deterred them? Or Joyce did? Maybe the harbor in full lockdown is too costly a target. Or maybe... He breathes in the foam fumes, thinking. Maybe they are simply taking their time and will attack soon. I don't know. How many casualties on the Union side total? Four. Glenn, Theo, Shanky, and Angus. Shanky too. The fat one. He took a lot of bullets. There's a pause. And that's... All. An absolute disaster. Total shit show, Kim. Not that bad, all things considered. I don't see how it could have gone any better. Yes, officer. Six people are dead. It's not a success. He says calmly. But what's done is done. The violence is cold enough. The Hornets did not get into the beehive. The worst scenario has not materialized. He rubs yet. his swollen chin. And we are still alive. Both of us. He smiles. He did not expect you both to survive once you stepped between those two armies. How bad am I hurt? Reasonably bad. You were shot in the left quadriceps. That's your tie. It appears no major arteries were nicked. The bullet was removed and a bacterial infection treated with mercurochrome. Oh, with the burning thing. It's almost as if I had lead leg protection that could have saved me if I was wearing it. <laughs> almost. Damn. As if some armored leggings would have stopped that from happening. The bruising in your shoulder is negligible. The armor took the brunt of the fire. Can I walk? We will see. If it's possible, then by pure willpower alone, you are going to have to become a psycho locomotor. I'm a psycho locomotor. Yo, let's call up, uh, what's her name? With the gas powered thing. <laughs> Lena? Lena. <laughs> I have something for you. Has anyone from my station been to see me? Are you hurt? Okay. Good. You'll need to be. Whatever that is. No. A man and a woman sit in the front seat of an armored motor carriage. The woman is driving. The man lights a cigarette. Jean Vicmer is his name. The asphalt vanishes under the wheels of the machine. Ahead, harbor cranes rise to the sky. What was happening at the blockade while this went down, I wonder? You know? Yeah, the scab leader just left and came over. Did he start? Did he just... I mean, he had to get wasted first. True. You know? But, like, did he just, like, tre armor up and get everyone just kind of ran away? Suit up. What happened to Measurehead? Back to that shithole, he says. They don't care about me at all. Good. I don't need them. Really? Isn't that strange? I called your station after the fight. The injury was logged in. They told me they've sent officers to join you on the site. Odd. Uh, you haven't seen any, have you? I'm sure they're worried about you. That means he hasn't seen them around while you were out. They're not really worried about you. If they were, wouldn't they be here? If they were worried about me, where are they? Mm, better not to agitate yourself further. It already hurts. I don't know. If not my station, then who treated me? I did. Thank you. No need. Are you hurt? Not very. I have a concussion from that woman beating me with the butt of her gun. I tried to not move too much. When did that happen? Damn. After the shot? After you passed out, I guess. Damn. Things would be worse if you didn't warn me. Thank you. I did not see her coming, stupid of me. Okay. Pain? Oh, that's a slow get up. Damage? Easy now. 
The lieutenant turns double again before your eyes. An orange hue of pain. How are you? <clears throat> My disco days are done. I feel fantastic. Let's rock. Who cares? Who cares about me? It doesn't matter. I'm very bad, Kim. Things are very bad. I mean, we got one last dance out. And that was it. We, we burned out like a star. Mm. Game six. Your disco days should have been done quite a while back, Lieutenant Ephrater. What happens now, Kim? I honestly don't know. You don't know? Good, but I don't know either. Good, because I totally do. Do you? Because we can't talk to Evrard. The harbor's in lockdown. Everyone in there is outside our grasp now. Joyce has left too, thanks to our meddling. You don't think it was a good idea? I don't know what to think. It might not have been a bad idea. There is a pin somewhere in the machine. Something is keeping Connell from sending in a death squad. He looks out the window. Maybe it's her. Maybe she kept her hand. Either way, Ruby's gone, and Classia, well, at least she safely locked away. Do you think she could be of more use to us? Who did it then, Kim? Who killed the hangman? Locked up? No, she would be of more use to us free, honestly. But it was the right thing to do. I don't know. I think the theory you presented, it's someone else outside our circle of suspects, was right. It better be. Everyone within the circle is either dead or gone. Honestly, I think our investigation has not produced a single credible suspect. His voice is calm, matter-of-factly. This is because I'm a la puta madre peon, isn't it? The fucking May bells, Kim. The flowers. What about the hole in the wall? Someone was checking her out. The goddamn footprints. There's still a 28% possibility that the shot came from a distance. An antique bullet from a Bell Magrave. 4.46 millimeters. How hard can it be to find one? How hard can it be? There are all these old bunkers and weapon caches. Revolutionary era. Something is creeping around out there. I sense it. The miracle hasn't happened yet. It's not over yet. You know what I'm thinking about? Solving crimes? What I think about it? Uh, it's extremely easy. There are thousands lying around. We found one. All completely unusable. It's precisely how easy it is to find one that makes the bullet useless. <sighs> yeah, when you put it that way. We should go upstairs, rethink the ballistics in situ. I agree with this. What else? See? There's that. You can do ballistics. Okay. Don't be narcissistic. Half the cops in Revachol West are his peonies. Even if you are, it is not a decisive factor in this case. That does make some sense. Alright, I'll take that. Okay, there are a lot of cops on the take. We did know that, too. Mm-hmm. The fucking Maybells. What? They were on the roof. <laughs> I didn't catch them. <laughs> Fucking butterfingers. Oh man, he's still suffering about letting the flowers go in front of Classier. <laughs> every piece of garbage in the city is not connected to the case. You don't have to catch everything. <laughs> this is wrong. No, Kim. Every piece of garbage in the city is connected to the case. Okay. He concedes. Clearly not meaning it. <laughs> what about the hole in the wall? I don't know. That's been there for years. The fucking goddamn footprints. Yes. God cursed the footprints. Not solving the case for us. Au diable. To hell with it. We could find thousands more if we wanted. All of Revachol is full of them. But they seemed so mysterious. I can't believe they're fucking useless. 
No need to be melodramatic. Something's creeping around out there. I sense it. What is? Something. Something. Nice timing. Huh. He does not know what to reply. Looks out of the window, then back at you. It's morning outside. You think. Oh my god, it's true. It's day eight. It's day eight. Day seven came and went. <laughs> Dude, were we on day six when that happened? Uh, I thought seven. S we're maybe, on seven. It was maybe it was. Yeah, I think so. You know what I solve about? Think about solving crimes. He arches his brow. The ceiling fan patiently spins overhead. Solving crimes is hard. Solving crimes is almost impossible. Solving crimes is super easy. Actually, I want to talk about this crime some more before I tell you about what I think about its hardness. Man. Is pimping easy? Never. Is pimping easy? It ain't. Excuse me, sir. Is pimping easy? Hell yeah. <laughs> That is somehow also correct. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Really? Because to me, it seems solving crimes is hard. That concussion must be making him dizzy. You're not ready to give up, are you? That's right. Let's give up. Time to start drinking. Guess number one it is. No. Are you ready to limp? I'm ready. Good. Where do you want to limp to? You're so nice, Kim. The lieutenant did mention doing more ballistics. Also, it's just close enough to endure the walk. We should check Miss Aranya Disco Dancer's room upstairs. Let's just aim aimlessly wander until the game progresses itself. <laughs> oh. Why not? He extinguishes a cigarette on the sole of his boot. Another look at the window, perhaps? The one he was shot through. I don't know. I can't think of anything better. That's good enough. And the thought is complete. Damn, imagine dying without completing all your thoughts. Yep. Horrible. God, give me some time. Ghosts. Out the rooms. 